Hi, I'm Buddy Cook, and today I want to talk to you about this fun little horn. Uh, this is an alto horn. Um, it says on the bell, Royal Professional, which isn't really a manufacturer anywhere. It's a stencil horn. Uh, somebody paid to get the horn made, stenciled their own brand name on it, and sold it out of their music shop. Uh, but it is stamped that it is made in Czechoslovakia. Um, which was kind of the China back in the day. All the musical instruments getting made there real cheap, except um, they actually had some quality and some thick brass to them. Um, so this horn is still around, still going strong. When I got this horn, it didn't have any bottom va uh, valve caps. Um, it was missing its springs uh, because this is bottom sprung. Um, it was missing some of the top caps. Uh, and all the slides were stuck. Um, wonderful brass tech that I work with is able to actually find caps uh, to put this into a playing condition and clean it up a little bit. Um, they don't all match. I don't care. They actually fit on the horn. Uh, I didn't have them pull the slides or bang out any of the dents. Gives it some character. Um, and I did happen to have this mouthpiece uh, made by Miraphone. And um, I like this mouthpiece, except I didn't have anything that it fit in. You could kind of fit it into a bugle or kind of into a trumpet, but it didn't quite fit right. It's not a cornet shank. No idea what shank this is. Nothing standard. Didn't fit any other horn I had. And then it fits perfect. So I could actually play this horn, um, which is a lot of fun. Uh, another interesting thing about this, um, we'll see if you can see it in the light. There is a bit of a seam line right through here on the bell. And if we turn it over, let's see if we can get the focus right. You can see there's also a seam running right through here. Um, so this is definitely a two-piece bell in that the outer part of the bell was one piece of brass that got put together as a bell. And then the rest of the bell's tube is another piece of brass. And this was actually sheet brass folded over and those seams are where they brazed it together. Um, a lot of more modern horns will take a single piece and spin it at high speed and push through the center of it to form it into a bell. Uh, this is a real old school way of making horns, the kind of thing they would have done by hand in the 17th, 16th centuries. Uh, and they, they still do it. Um, that is still a way to make horns. Um, but you can see from the aging right where those seams are and that's something you can typically see on something of this age. Um, so, but uh, it's just a old clunker, but it works and it's a lot of fun. Um, I haven't even bothered polishing it up or anything. I, I kind of like the look of it. It's a nice little vintage to it. Uh, all the valve slides are still stuck. Maybe someday I'll get those pulled, um, but I'm not planning to play with anybody else where I need to worry about that. So I thought I'd play something for you today. Uh, this is Concerto by Mozart, K191. Just something to have a little fun with the horn. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, this is the Checkmade Alto Horn. Um, I'm really having a lot of fun with it. It was just a piece of junk. Got it back just to working condition. And uh, it's really just a lot of fun to pick it up and noodle around on and have some fun with it. Um, so I'm enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed this too. Have a great day.